I got very lucky. I started doing art shows. I started drawing dogs. Somebody asked me to draw their dog, and that led to pet portraits. When you're in high school, you're the golden child. It's like, I'm the artist. It's like, you're the, you're, that's the guy who draws. Mrs. Gilbreth was the high school art teacher. She was a huge influence on me. She taught me a lot. When you get to art school, you know, you're just a, another artist. You're just a number. And she prepared me. She did this. She took a piece of paper. She says, okay, I'm your college professor. And this is your work. Now what do you do? And I stopped. <laughs> and I just, oh my gosh. People cannot like me. I didn't think about that. Thanks, Mrs. Gilbreth. That that's, sticks with me to this day. I always, whenever I do art, whenever I go out on stage, whenever I produce something, I know somebody might not like it. Somebody might have a huge critique about it. So you have to be prepared for that. You have to be ready. Stephen Walker, the art professor at Lawson State Community College, he was a huge influence on me too. He even drove to Savannah, Georgia for my graduation. And after that, I uh, got a job at Southern Living Magazine. At Southern Living, I was a graphic designer. I did page layout and illustration. And I was there for 10 years. You know what, right now, breaking news here, stocks all around the world are tanking because of the crisis on Wall Street. Pauline Chu is in for Jen. When I got laid off from my job, I saw so many other people get laid off. And so it got to the point where we were just walking around going, hey, I wonder if I'm next. The first thing I did, the first week, I slept in. Um, I got a manicure pedicure. <laughs> <laughs> for the first time ever. Um, it's like, why not? I went to eat out at restaurants and just relax. And then after that, it was business as usual. Then one day I had an idea to go out to um, Mutt Strut. Mutt Strut is when people bring their dogs out for a little strut. They have a little dog walk and everything. And I had an idea to set up a booth with my dogs and do pet portraits while people waited. Worst idea I ever had <laughs> because it takes a long time to paint and dogs do not hold still. I immediately abandoned that idea and then came up with the idea of doing um, pet portraits and just having a, a name for it. And that's where Draw Dog came, came from and that's really taken off. And then folks from Magic City Art Connection, uh, they saw my stuff and they approached me and asked me would I like to be emerging artists of 2013. And I said, of course. <laughs> and just everything's been great since then. So sometimes people tell me about their animals. Sometimes people go, oh, you got to meet them. It's like, <laughs> what's Mr. Fluffum's schedule this week? I don't know if we can really get together. You have Mr. Fluffums people call my people. Or maybe you can just send me a picture of Mr. Fluffums. If you asked me 10 years ago, would you think it'd be doing pet portraits for a living? I'd say you're crazy. Now who's crazy? Me! <laughs> One dog. Yeah. I feel great being a working artist. I feel lucky. I think it's really the luck of the draw. But you just gotta put yourself out there. I feel like some really good things are gonna happen. I'm, I'm, I'm positive.